Okay, I'm going to make a quick video of showing you how to actually install, you know, Battle.net or Diablo or World of Warcraft, things like that. So when you get on your home page, you want to click your Steam button, go down here to power and switch to desktop mode. That's really important to do that because you can't do it uh, any other way. Next, you want to open up Steam. That way you get the commands and you're able to get the mouse input. You're going to want to open up your Firefox or whatever browser you're using and go and download uh, Battle.net. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we got it downloaded. I'm going to uh, the Downloads folder here and I find it, found it in my Downloads folder here. I would highly recommend to uh, cut it and then uh, you paste it into your removable place. I'll make up a new folder. I named mine battle.net. Paste one file. Here we go. And here in Steam, this is where it's crucial to add. Add a game and add a non-game to Steam. Now you might be able to find it in here. I don't think so. It's there's a good chance it's not there. So you're gonna to have to actually browse for it. So here we're gonna to have to go up to a top tier folder. And here you want to go to run media. Uh, your weird name here and then here is where your media is and this is where you find battle.net or wherever you located it and it, was, it won't show up here so you have to change file type to all files and now you have this up here so you click on that and click open and so we add selected programs and then when we go to library we can go and try to uh, figure out where it is. So you want to show a new one? Yep, no record activity, this one, this is the newest one. So you, you can try to click play, but it, there's a good chance it probably won't even work. So you want to right click on it, uh, manage or uh, properties, compatibility, force the use of specific proton. So let's use experimental. And then that's when we can actually open it up and click play. Okay, now it shows at the bottom here. This is up here. So yeah, I'm going to choose English as my language and click continue. Okay, now this is an important part, install location. It's going to create a, it's going to try to create something like it would on Windows because it needs to install to that specific location. So we're going to actually change it. Your thing probably will not look like this. Uh, I added my external SD card as a emulated E drive. Essentially what I downloaded before was flat seal, I remember, and I had to go to applications and change it. So if I click change, I've got to get that Steam thing out of the way. This accesses E, which is my uh, emulated Steam or emulated uh, Windows drive on the Steam Deck or on my SD card. And if I click C, that's actually a drive that's located within the SSD by default. So by default, this is going to download to the SSD. So we don't want that. We want to uh, use it in Battle.net. You cannot create a folder in here as far as I know. If you're going to use multiple layers here or multiple folders you're going to need to create that outside of your installation so <clears throat> i'm going to cancel that because i've already continued and already done that so we're going to go like it's already been installed which it has next we're going to go to battle your battle net where you installed it and you're going to find your battle.net launcher now you're going to want to use one of these two so you can actually access it and so you kind of use the same process as adding the the battle.net setup. I added my battle.net.exe and you want to make sure you add the compatibility to it. So you go to compatibility and I added my 743 to it. And then you can of course click play. Okay, we're launching <clears throat> battle.net.exe. Uh, so let's try to see if we can up we can install Overwatch 2. So if we click install, we can change our folder here. I'm just installing in this folder. So D Overwatch, and now click start install. And so essentially that's how you install games and you can also launch it from 
your battle.net.exe. And so of course you can also load this into your Steam Deck gaming mode. And you want to go to your non-Steam games. This is where you'll find your Blizzard launcher. So we click on it and click play. Now the mouse thing will not work. You might have to use your finger to launch things. So that's the only problem. So here as you can see, click on things. That's the only caveat here. Uh, you might be able to change that in settings, I'm not too sure. I don't really care or find it too offensive. So as long as it gets me in the game, that's all that really matters. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you figure it out. You can use the same tutorial, same system to install anything else like Epic Games, uh, Origin, Uplay, uh, or Ubisoft Connect, I should say. You can also use a uh, Heroic Launcher. I've seen it. Uh, I've tried to use it myself. Uh, uh, you can also use other things, other kind of launchers, uh, third party launchers, but I still like to try to launch directly through the actual application itself. So that's just me personally. Uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable logging into other applications, but there you go. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the comment button if you like it. If you have any kind of questions, I'll see if I can help you through it. Um, like the video, uh, hit that notification bell for future videos, and I hope you have an awesome and great day. Take care.